Okay guys, so welcome to another video on my channel, Alphanes. Please smash that subscribe button. So this is my one year review of the iPhone 13 Pro Max and why you, you should buy it. Okay, so let's get into the gun. So I have been using the iPhone 13 Pro Max for my daily driver now for approximately a year. I think so, maybe. And in this video, I will tell you why you should buy this model over the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So my first thought is that you will save a lot of money buying the previous model over this year model. I haven't bought a new 14 Pro Max yet and I think I won't either. So the second is the cameras. Wow, they are good, good cameras. It is so good. And I am not so sure you will notice any difference between 48 megapixels versus 12 megapixels. Like it is in this model right here. For my everyday usage where I take photos and using like it was intended to by Apple it's just an amazing phone and the macro camera just take a look at this picture right there which I took uh, yesterday or the day before that was of a leaf laying on the ground and there I put my phone really close to the object don't you just love the colors of the autumn i sure do so now that is the second reason why you should buy last year model over the 14 pro oh and did i mention there's a hefty price tag on the new iphone i mean it's the same as the 13 was last year but you can save so so much money if you find a second hand mobile phone on let's say we have fin.no in Norway I'm sure you eBay there I'm sure they're having a ton of deals for you so you can find an amazing deal if you want to save money who doesn't want to save money I don't know so if you are enjoying this video so far Please give it a like. Okay, so let's get back into the content, shall we? So, where was I? Yes, my third third reason to why you should buy a used phone over a new phone. And that is the specs. Really, it's not that kind of a big difference from the A15 to the A16. The difference is just minor, you know? And structural, structural basic iOS things, it just runs on iOS. It's, it's an amazingly good system you know so as i see it the only minor improvement the specs is you can have a brighter screen so you can have it a much much more brighter and also there's this crash detection thing but it's been a the emergency systems in the united states have been thrown down by people who are in the an amusement park and also there's the one feature where you can call to emergency while you're out of reach of cell towers i think that is a nice feature to have but spending that much money no thing and what's the fuss about the dynamic island anyway it takes up real estate on the screen like last year it did also and if you want to have a smaller bezel on your screen, you should buy an Android phone. Those have had it for years now. And I've never complained about the bezel up on the screen here. Just blends in to the screen. And yes, the always on display. What's the deal about that? If I wanted an always on display, I'd rather buy an Android any day of the week. It's not that big of a difference, you know. My screen is black. I like it black and the phones are practically the same ever since the iPhone 12 lineup came they have had this good old design which honestly why change something that works look at this beautiful phone right there so I'm always using a screen protector as you can see I got some scratches down there but it's working and I also have a case this is the official Apple case I think got some scratches here as well and so here is my bonus tip for you guys please leave a smiley face in the comment below if you have watched this far so I 
know you are still hanging with me, you know? <laughs> so yeah, the bonus tip. After using the phone as my daily driver for a year now, the phone just keeps delivering on its promise by being, I think it's the best phone ever. No, I don't mean the best phone, but the best phone of last year. Yes, and that is the battery life. Oh my gosh, it is so, so amazingly good. You won't find anything better on the market last year. <laughs> I haven't had the chance to check out the iPhone 14 Pro Max battery life, but I think it's the same ball league. And the battery lasts me approximately two full working days. So I'm taking photos and checking emails, writing Twitter and everything, Facebook. So I have approximately 40% left on my battery at the end of the day. And yet another bonus tip for you guys is that even though I've been using the phone as my daily driver, charging it up and down and whatever, the state of health to the battery according to the phone itself, it's 97% which is which blows my mind. It's so so good. And of course, if you decide to buy a new phone today, I would highly recommend you go with the screen protector and case so you don't scratch your beautiful device. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Hope it brought you some value. <laughs> Thank you.